How to say a Buddhist prayer? Buddhism is not marked by multiple essential prayers, like some other religions, but prayer is a spiritual dialogue that help you center yourself mentally and emotionally. As you begin to pray, visualize the beings you mention as happy and peaceful. Envision your thoughts of loving kindness reaching them, touching them, embracing them and making them well, happy, and peaceful. Method 1 Performing Buddhist Prayers 1. Center yourself with good posture, steady breathing and mindfulness. Before praying, take a deep breath, get comfortable, and close your eyes. Focus on the here and now, centering yourself however feels right. You want to sink into your prayers, not just say them. Candles, scents, and low lighting can help calm yourself down and bring yourself closer to your prayer. To learn some basic mantras, mantras are simply phrases meant to be repeated over and over again. You do not necessarily need to know their full meanings, as the words themselves, through repetition, lose their meaning and help you avoid distraction. Amani Padmham, pronounced Om Mani Padmehum, this translates to Hail to the Jewel in the Lotus, O Amidavachar, pronounced Amami Devaray, or, in English, to overcome all obstacles, emperors, and hindrances, Amarapa California Nada. This chant is believed to help with wisdom, critical thinking, and writing. Emphasis the D pronounced D when chanting. There are many, many other chants out there to practice, and listening to audio tracks is a great way to learn them quickly. 3. Try repeating or voicing a simple prayer for the three jewels. This prayer is good, short prayer that can be repeated as a mantra. Remember to focus on yourself and your own spiritual growth, not simply asking for it from Buddha. I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha until I attain enlightenment. By merit accumulations from practicing generosity and the other perfections may I attain enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. Sangha translates as community, group, or assembly. It usually refers to the community of believers in Buddhist ideals. Dharma is the overall universal truth common to all people. It is the common force, of sorts, that binds and holds the universe together. For pray for the happiness and well-being of your friends and family. This prayer is a great way to stay thankful for the people around you, and to recognize their connection. May I be well, happy, and peaceful. May my teachers be well, happy, and peaceful. May my parents be well, happy, and peaceful. May my relatives be well, happy, and peaceful. May my friends be well, happy, and peaceful. May the indifferent persons be well, happy, and peaceful. May the unfriendly persons be well, happy, and peaceful. May all meditators be well, happy, and peaceful. May all beings be well, happy, and peaceful. Five perform simple thankfulness prayers before meals. Meal time is a wonderful time to slow down and show gratitude for earthly blessings. Eating food is a time where you can become close to those around you and respect your physical nature. Try out the following mealtime prayers. May this food be dedicated to the Triple Jewel, the Precious Buddha, the Precious Dharma, the Precious Sangha. Bless this food so we may take it as medicine free from attachment and desire so that it may nourish our bodies so we may work for the benefit of all sentient beings. Six learn the Metta prayer. The following prayer, adapted from a lecture by the Buddha, is an all-encompassing and powerful prayer to repeat to yourself. 
in order that I may be skilled in discerning what is good, in order that I may understand the path to peace, let me be able, upright and straightforward, of good speech, gentle and free from pride, let me be contented, easily satisfied, having few duties, living simply, of controlled senses, prudent, without pride and without attachment to nation, race, or other groups, let me not do the slightest thing for which the wise might rebuke me. Instead let me think, may all beings be well and safe, may they be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether moving or standing still, without exception, whether large, great, middling, or small, whether tiny or substantial, whether seen or unseen, whether living near or far, born or unborn, may all beings be happy. Let none deceive or despise another anywhere. Let none wish harm to another, in anger or in hate just as a mother would guard her child, her only child, with her own life. Even so let me cultivate a boundless mind for all beings in the world. Let me cultivate a boundless love for all beings in the world, above, below, and across, unhindered, without ill will or enmity. Standing, walking, seated, or lying down, free from torpor, let me as far as possible fix my attention on this recollection. This, they say, is the divine life right here. Seven, remember that prayer is simply a way to connect to yourself spiritually. Buddha is not a creator god, though some practices do see him as divine. That said, prayer is not meant as an offering to Buddha. Rather, it is a way to deepen your own spirituality. If you feel like praying, then you should pray and worry about the theology later. You can, of course, make up your own specific mantras and think about your own ways to pray as there is no wrong way to practice. There are a vast array of prayers and no right way to pray as a Buddhist. This frees you to practice your prayer and spirituality how you desire it, not how you are told.